and welcome to another episode of Uber. In today's video we are going to build an automated pipeline for two different environments using GitLab. If you're interested in serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started! <laughs> This is the last video on the October series, but this doesn't mean that it's the last video about configuration management, environments, and whatever I've been talking around in October. You can always leave comments about this topic and I will add more videos to this series. And also, if you check the playlist with this video leaves, there are other videos that have not been made in October but are related to deployments and configuration management as well, so you can go and explore what is in there. So in this video I want to use GitLab. I already created a video on automating your pipeline with GitLab, but it had only one branch and one environment. So in this video I want to grab that and put it into multiple environments and that deploys automatically. So let's get started by cloning one project that we have done, the environmental parameters project that we have done in the previous video. I'll leave you the link in the description box. And what we are going to do is going to reorganize it a little bit. We are going to create a service folder and in there we are going to put all the files related to serverless. So serverless YAML, the handler, JS, and the package lock JSON with all the dependencies. So now we can have outside our GitLab and our continuous integration and continuous deployment information. Now we are going to GitLab and we are going to create a new project. So there I will create a private project, but you could create it public if you want. So I will create a private project and there I will uh, just grab the existing git repository and follow the instructions there. I copy paste everything in my terminal and that will basically change the remote and then push everything to the GitLab project that we just created. So as we have not committed the changes to put it in the service folder, that's not there yet, but we will do that in a moment. We have one branch called master. So the next step is to now configure the um, AWS account in our GitLab. If you don't know how to do that, I leave you a card with the video where I teach you how to use the GitLab. Uh, I will do this very fast. Basically, we just create two variables, one for the AWS key and secret, and we put them protected. So only in protected branches and we put it in all environments. So this applies for all the environments. If we'll have that dev and uh, production will be different environments like different AWS accounts. We will need to select which environment we are going to run this, but now we have one account and two environments, so we just save. And then the next thing we are going to do is to create a new branch where we are going to put everything. Now we have, we can commit the changes we have done to this develop branch that we just created and then push it to the remote repository in the develop branch. So now we have develop and master. If we check, we have both. The thing with develop is that it's not a protected branch, so the, the variables will not work, so we'll need to do that. We can go to our GitLab and put that develop branch that we have created to, to be protected, so then the whole thing can happen, because if not, we will have an error that the branch was not protected and we cannot um, we don't have the credentials there, so it's important to have this before committing. So now our develop branch is protected, as same as master, so it will appear there in a second, and now we can um, do the deploy with the AWS credentials that we have set up. Now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, start creating all the scripts that we need in order to deploy. These scripts, I'm taking them from the video that we have uh, created, the GitLab pipeline. So I'm stealing them from there. So go and check that video, link in the description box below. So basically I have one script that deploys. Basically it runs serverless deploy in the stage region that we provide. Then we have the install that install the uh, project, what is in the in there and then we have the GitLab CI and that we will create from scratch. The first thing we are going to define which kind of Docker image we need and we have to put a node 8.10 because we in our serverless YAML we have 8.10. 
then we have one stage called deploy because we are not testing in this case if we were testing we will have different stages but for now we just have one then we have one thing that needs to be run before the script that is the installing serverless and then uh, running the install and then we will just run the deploy to develop that only will affect it in the develop branch so that's why they only develop at the stage deploy and the script will run bash deploy uh, that's the script that we just grab in the in the stage dev in the region u is one and the environment is dev and then we do another similar one that it says deploy to master so we only deploy master and we put the uh, bash to deploy to prod in the same region we could change the region if we would like to have this isolated that's one one thing that sometimes we do that uh, we isolate the the different stages in regions and then the environment is prod so that's the environment of GitLabs that we will see in the in the GitLab account when we deploy this so the first thing we are going to do is just to push all these changes to our develop branch in the remote repository and then we will see that the deployment will start as soon as these changes hit the remote repository and when i was doing that i realized that i forgot to install the project in this machine so basically when we deployed our package log would not be updated so i need to also run npm install in the dependencies that we have or in the or in the package log so then everything is updated there so i just running npm install in midi and the serverless pseudo parameters and then i will commit those changes to git and then i can push to the remote repository but that's something i realized while i was pushing that i was forgetting the steps because before it will just fail so now i push the region to develop with the all the changes and now it should work if we go to gitlab to pipelines we can see that the deploying has started and then it says deploy to develop and we can start seeing that the docker is running and is pulling the image and then is doing all the things that we told them cloning the repository there and then installing serverless and now is deploying into that stage into that account into that region everything looks good there are all the resources that are being created so i will push a little bit this forward so we can see what is going on so now the job is succeed and we get the endpoints and we also get the functions we can try them in postman those endpoints so we have the hello endpoint and we can see hello world at ah so that's good in the video that we have worked with different environments we have created these uh, parameters in the parameter store in dev it was ah and in um, prod it was b so that's why we are seeing this if you don't know what is this video i leave you the card and also in the description box now we are going to merge the changes to master so that should deploy to production automatically we just create a pull request imagine if we were uh, reviewing this code where we are not from develop to master and then we just merge the request and that will push the changes to master and that will trigger the the deployment to master so we can go back to ci and we see that the uh, new deployment is working and is running and it will be exactly the same that the the previous one but it's just going to deploy it to the prod stage so we are just getting all the resources uh, named with prod and everything will be prod so we can when we finish the deployment we can go and check with the url that it will return the thingy so let's see what is going on if we go into the into the shop we can see the two urls we can check that they have the prod and then we run them in postman and we can see that the message is be as we expect so basically this is super simple to implement an automatic pipeline with different environments in gitlab depending on your branch and this will make your life so much easier so you don't need to deploy from your computer whenever you are creating serverless projects all the code is available in github and the links are available in the description box of this video 
this was the video for today i hope you like it if you did give a big thumbs up and remember to comment put questions and say everything you want in the comment box below tell me what are the topics you're interested share also these videos with people that are learning serverless and want to get more about serverless and remember that i make content that for you so you can always tell me what you want to watch around here as always there are other videos from my channel so let's go ahead and check it out and if not i see you in the next episode of who in the november series the series of frame bent oh